everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everyone doing today? As you can see, I'm in my car today. We are at the CVS about to go in here and get me some allergy medicine because the allergies are still bothering your girl. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do this morning. Um, I got up early and I thought I would just, I was going to do my video at home, but I was like, you know what? Do it when you get in the car, you know, because sometimes I just like, you know, video uh, filming in the car. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're not having these allergy symptoms and stuff that I got going on here in Texas. I don't know what's going on, but it's been bothering me a good week and a half or so. So yeah, I ran out of allergy medicine and I thought I would come up here to the CVS and give me some more. And since I was going to CVS, I was like, why not use your Starbucks reward points and get you a, a coffee? because I don't drink coffee guys anymore every single morning. That's what we've started doing. And so I thought today would be my day to have my one cup of coffee. So that's what we're doing. And I don't even drink all of this. We're just gonna drink some of it. Just cause I had a rough night last night. I didn't sleep very good because my eyes was itching. My head was hurting. Uh, allergy symptoms was really cutting up. I didn't take any alley allergy medicine last night because I don't like taking medicine in the middle of the night where I just want to go to sleep. Because if I mess, I don't know, anybody like me, if I mess up my sleeping rhythm or pattern, it tends to bother me. Like, let's say I would have gotten up and taken my allergy medicine. I would have ended up just waking on up, turned on TV. I don't know. I like to stay in my sleep zone when I'm sleeping. I don't like to be disrupted. Yeah. Because if it gets disrupted, it sometimes bothers me where I cannot finish out my sleep for the night. And I don't like that. So yeah. So I didn't take any medicine last night. I took it this morning. I got up and I took me an allergy pill um, this morning and that was my last one. So that's why we're at the CVS. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We prayed last week. We are still praying that God, if you're having allergy is issues, um, sinus issues, any kind of issues, we pray that God heal your body. And I come in agreement with you that God heals you because it's hard when you have to work and do what you got to do when you've got an allergy headache like I do now. And... I still got to show up. I still got to come on this camera and I got to talk. I got to do what I'm gonna supposed to do because, you know, these videos are going up Monday through Friday. What I have been trying to do is upload a couple a day so that I don't have to do it every single day. So like a day like this when I don't feel good, I can just say, okay, let's just rest. Let's just, you know, take some medicine to so feel better. So that's what I've been trying to do. But this one is going to be for tomorrow. I have my... What I've been doing is like thinking of good subjects and putting them out. So those are already done. It's just my mornings that I need to catch up on. So that's what we're doing today. And we're doing two today. So you'll probably see me in the same shirt because I need to do today, tomorrow's and the next day. So that's how that goes. I've been trying to do them at least two days. Cause like I said, just in case I don't feel well and I just want to lay down for a little while, um, which I normally don't do anyway, even if I don't feel good, I got to really be not feeling well to lay down y'all. Yeah, seven, at seven o'clock in the morning, I'm ready to get up. We ready to do something. Yeah, it just, you know, just that old school thing, child. I think that's what it is. But I hope you guys are doing wonderful. You guys, I want to say I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I put in my community, um, in the community tab, I put in there that we got 2,000 over the weekend, which I think it was Sunday that we reached, or was it Monday morning? It was either Sunday or morning or Monday morning, we reached that 20 grand. And guys, by the time I put up the 20 grand posts, I looked yesterday and I'm already at 20, um, 20 grand, like what 400 and already, yeah, 400 more was already added to that 20 grand by the time I could get that. I was like, y'all, y'all want to see this content? You do. And I am going to be putting up more and more, uh, work content as I, you know, think of different things to add. And also while I'm in my comments, uh, y'all be giving me something to talk about sometime. Y'all do. 
and even some of the arguments that people like to do, give me something to talk about. But we're going to stay away from worrying about the people in the, with the negative comments because, whew, there are many. Yeah, there are many. Mm -hmm. You know, I was thinking the other day, I said, why have I been getting so many crazy comments? But I thought about it. I'm like, listen, it's the content you're doing. People don't want to, they will either acknowledge the stuff they're going through or they'll act like it's not happening and they don't want you to talk about it. But you're not going to do that. You're not going to shut me up. Am I going to talk about work stuff 24-7? No, because I think there needs to be a balance. There needs to be a balance of me encouraging you and there needs to be a balance of me blowing the whistle and me show, talking about what companies are doing to people. I think there need to be a balance of both. If you're too off on one, let's say if you 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 too much talking about work, it then gets to be negative and it gets to be, oh my gosh, this lady, who all this negative. I'm telling y'all, if I would tell you everything that I've gone through, you probably wouldn't come back to my channel because you'd be like, oh, heck no. And I sometimes wondered, I was talking to a lady yesterday and I was talking to her and I was like, I used to wonder why I went through so much, but hey, is, is so I can come over here and talk to y'all? Don't think I can think of. So God can encourage and tell everybody that, you know, here, this is what we can do. It ain't over for us. It had to be because I went through too much. Most people will like go through maybe one or two bad jobs or one job. I started going through a lot of bad ones after COVID. It just, yeah. And you go in there knowing it's bad. Mm -hmm. So I feel like everything I went through was so that I could come on and I could motivate you guys and get you started for your day. Cause you were on your way to work. And you know, I think the best way when you start out your day and you going to work is try your best to keep a positive mind. And that's why I said I have to also balance it out with positiveness, which like bringing some, you know, different content to the, the platform and not just all work. Cause like I said, it starts feeling like, oh my gosh, that lady with all that negative stuff, all she do is talk about negative work stuff. Well guys, that's what be going on in the workplace. I'm sorry. Now, will we ever talk about some of the good stuff that be going on? Yeah. Because somewhere, eight hours of your day, you can't leave. You don't have any freedom. That's not really, you know, yeah. Anyway, you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I don't want to bring it in a negative deal. But when you can do things for yourself, and you can work independently working for yourself. Your day is yours. Like I got up this morning to get me some medicine. I'm not going home to lay down because that's just not in me to lay down. If I'm going to lay down, I got to, like I said, really be out for the count. But I'm going back to do some more editing, some more thinking of content, what I'm going to put on. But the day is mine. Let's say I needed to go do something. I can go do that. That's all I'm saying. It's just freedom in doing things for yourself. When you work for somebody, y'all know how you can't leave. You can't do this. You can't do that. We already know how that is. You know, enough of that. We know how that is. But that's why I'm saying I want to bring freedom to us and our brain and especially at our age at 50 60 70 years old it's time for you to have freedom it's time for you we don't put in a lot of work we ain't put in some work we don't put in a lot of work you know some of us been working since we were 13 some of us been working for a very very i heard somebody say they weren't since 13 i was like i didn't even know that was legal but i don't know maybe in different states but yeah i think her well, I know years ago. I think I was 16. My first job, I think I was 16. Yeah, I didn't know 13. You could work at 13, but hey. Maybe you was working for a family member or something. You know, you know, you never know. But yeah, we've been working for a long time, y'all. We need a little break. Even if you want to start working part-time and doing some things on the side. And, and if some people got it where they don't need to work, but maybe because I think we all need to stay busy because being busy, I believe to me helps you live longer and help you. And I ain't, I'm talking about busy doing your own stuff. You know, maybe you want to redecorate your home or you want to build a garden outside your home or 
or do some little hobbies you've been wanting to do and you can't do it because you you in a job. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. You don't have to always be trying to find a hustle because I think we talk so much about hustling, working, working, working when we never living. You know, we just, days be passing us by y'all and we ain't living these days. We just working, 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 working. So somebody had wrote in my comments, they said, um, well, we would like to know what hobbies you pick up, what you're going to be doing next and, you know, and everything. And right now, guys, I am like, it's not yet. I'm still three weeks. It's not yet a month because I started making these videos the 5th of October. So it's not yet a month. So I'm still trying to wrap my head around 20,000 subscribers and how to keep 20,000 people engaged and what kind of content do I want to bring to the table for you guys because I'm learning when I bring things to the table and you don't watch it I know you that's not what you want to see so it's taking time for me to kind of even figure out what everybody even wants to see so I haven't started you know trying to work on hobbies and things I'm gonna do outside of YouTube because I'm still trying to wrap my ramp, my brain around 20,000 people wanting to listen to me. And, and how do I keep these people engaged? And also, I'm going to try to start building up my Instagram. Because that's a part of when you do sponsorships. They want your other pages to be growing as well. I don't really... I used to post a picture of me every now and then on Instagram. So I'm going to start putting my all of my... I won't put Facebook because I maxed out on friends on Facebook, but I need my, I used to have an Instagram y'all and my Instagram had over two to 3,000 people and I deleted it because y'all, you know, on Instagram, you can send DMs, you can send messages. I had these crazy folks sending me some crazy stuff on Instagram. So I literally deleted it and it was such a bad decision. I should have, cause you can block people and everything. You don't really have to delete your social media. So that was a mistake of mine and I'm trying to rebuild Instagram again, you know, so maybe we'll start just taking some pictures of stuff because Instagram for me is more pictures and I feel like if you're not getting dressed up every day, what are you really putting on Instagram? I could put like some, some quotes and different things on Instagram. Um, but anyway, I do have like six pictures up, I think. <laughs> so I want you guys to subscribe to my instagram even though i'm not really posting any content for work on instagram just yet because we got to figure out what we're going to start posting but i still want to bring you guys over there because as i reach out to brands brands want to see what engagement do you have in other you know parts of social media so if you guys don't mind i'm gonna put my instagram thing down here but what i'm gonna do i'm working on speaking with two people i'm trying to get me a <sighs> intro i think it is i think that's what you call that when you have all your social medias on there y'all i used to have one and i deleted it and uh it i did it myself and it was so good but it had my old instagram on there so it probably wouldn't have been no good because it had all the old information on there but yeah i'm trying to get that for it what happens is before the video starts You'll see all of my social medias on there. And I have a Facebook page that you could like. But what I'm going to get is a Facebook page for this work. I did. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my information for the Facebook page, not my actual Facebook page personal because my and it ain't personal it was always been for me talking about youtube everybody on my facebook none of them people are my my family or friends it was just to promote youtube and i maxed out on it but i did create a page that i want you guys to like so let me get all of that together i've been looking for someone on i think it's fiber where you pay for somebody to make that for you. I could do it, but it would be so much easier. I seen people on fiber making a one minute uh, intro or making that for you and charging you $25. So I'm like, Leslie, just have somebody else to do it. It'd be so much easier because they can do a professional. It can look good and it can be done. 
So that's what I am uh, going to do. And then I ran across a young lady's page yesterday. I reached out to her to see if she wanted to come on my page. I normally don't do that on other people's pages, but she was a young lady and she seemed like she had some good information that would be really good for this generation, this 50 plus people that's on my uh, channel. So I reached out to her and I'm hoping that she would respond because I already have a couple of people that is supposed to be coming to the channel. So y'all look out for that. I have two ladies that's going to be coming on um, to just talk on the channel with one lady she does. She's really into healthy eating and she's into exercising. So she's going to talk a little bit about that. And then I have someone else that I have to speak with. Uh, I already spoke to two different other people that end up it's not time for them to come on. Uh, they realize that we can do it a little bit later. And I have somebody else that I'm going to be speaking with uh, tomorrow. So, yes. Yeah, so what I do is I schedule a phone call with you. If you, I say it. So let me say this again. And I say it on every other video. I try not to say it on all of them. If you are in any type of area in your life where you you know information that you could give to the community, whether it's on health care, it's on health wellness, uh, you're a tax preparer, you do this, anything that you feel like you can contribute to the community. I am allowing you to come on and talk about what you could give to the community, what you could give back to the community. And if you have your page already up, we will put your, when we're doing the Zoom, I will have your page information where everybody can get it. And it'll also be in the description. So not only are you giving back to the community, you can also bring people into your, because I have 20,000 and something people on this channel. So those people can also go and like your page and see what you have going on. So, you know, I am asking if in anything you can give to the community, all you need to do is um, send me. I'll be looking around because y'all know people be getting in now. They calls and y'all. I'm nosy. Mm. Don't let nobody catch you slipping. Mm -mm. But anyway, let's get back to talking. Um, so if you know or have anything that you could contribute to the, the community, please do. And you don't have to be 50 and over. You can be. I talked to a young lady the other day. I think she told me she was 39. I think she said she was 39. And so she's going to be coming on. So you don't have to be 50. I'm just saying if you have anything that you can give to the community. And I, I also, and I'm going to let y'all go because this is going to be long. I had a gentleman that wrote an ugly message. And I tried to go back. Y'all, I got so many messages and I ain't even sure. You know, I might be able to go back and find his message. I'm going to put his message on the screen. I told you I wasn't going to do that no more. I would try to maybe not get his name because I don't want to blast nobody and I don't want nobody because y'all know people will go to people's pages and, and check them out and start all kind of harassing people. So I don't like to do that. But I will put his comment if I can find it. I tried to find it right after I replied to him. So if I can find it, I'm going to put it here and I'm going to end it with this information that I'm going to tell y'all. This man was being so ugly to me and, and, and basically telling me that I'm going to end up being a greeter at Walmart. And I'm going to try to put that, that message there. And I thought that was so ugly. I he said that I erased his first one, but I didn't erase it because I left his message there so other people could read that ignorance that he put on that message. I didn't delete it. I don't know if he deleted himself or he messed up. But he said, since you deleted my last message, he wrote it again. So he really meant to say what he said to me because this man rewrote his message again. So I responded to him and I was like, y'all, let me get a drink of my water too. Y'all know I love to talk. My throat be getting dry. So he rewrote his message. And basically, he was telling me that I'm going to end up uh, at Walmart greeter. And so I told him, I said, you don't even know me. I was like, that was so ugly and nasty to say to somebody and to what he said to me. And I was thinking, why would you do that, sir? 
and 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 I'm I'm like after reading his message, I was like he was telling me that he owns some kind of health care that he making so many, you know, thousands of billions of dollars. He owned this, you know, multi-million dollar health care something. And I was thinking to myself, but do you know you could get to, I don't know how old he is, but I'm thinking to myself, let's say you get 60, 70. You could get 70 years old and not even remember that you got a bank account. You better thank God for the memory and the brain that you got. You got to be careful how y'all out here sending these ugly messages to people. Because God is watching. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. You don't know this hate and stuff that you be sending to people because people can't see you. Would you say that to me if you was in my face? Nine, tens, uh, nine times out of ten, you probably wouldn't. It's so easy to get behind a computer screen and be ugly to people. It's so sad because I was like, all that money that you claim you got, you better thank God that you have the brain to even remember that you got that money in the bank. Somebody else may be wiping, wiping your tail at 60, 70 years old. Yeah. Uh-huh. So the, the stuff that people say to people is just, it's just crazy. It's crazy, y'all. It's crazy. And y'all get to see one or two ugly messages. On one of my videos, I got 3,000 messages just on one video so just think of the stuff that come across my screen and the only reason because you know i had told a friend of mine i said girl i ain't even read the messages but me and her was talking she's like but you will miss the good ones so it's like i can't not read them because i would miss these wonderful blessed ones that y'all be sending me but it's okay i what i responded with him was letting him know why you're talking about me Make sure you screenshot the same messages you're sending to me. Because it may come back at you. Because you reap what you sow. If you if you sow in hate in people's lives, you just might get what you're sowing. I'm not out here sowing no hate for nobody. I ain't put nobody on blast. I ain't told y'all what companies I don't work for. I ain't done nothing. I'm only telling you my experiences. I don't understand. And then I get some people, oh, all that negativity you spewing out. Where? Blowing the whistle on companies is not negativity. Some people, I'm, I'm telling you, and, and well, I'm going to tell y'all this too. A lot of my, seem like a lot of my hate that's coming at me and with these negative comments is coming from a lot of black men. And I'm wondering, sir, did you not know your ancestors used to be slaves? Why are you coming at me with that hate? I'm trying to get us out of the slavery mentality. I'm not bothering nobody. But I'm really confused that these black men over here with this hate. I'm, I'm getting more nice comments from the white men than I am the black. What is wrong with y'all? Cut that out. Mm -hmm. And y'all, we're going to end this message in peace and grace. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you know, I used to wonder why I would see some of my favorite people that I love to watch on YouTube. Some of them every now and again would address negative comments, but I think mine, I have to address more than other people because of my content. My content brings people that is still in that slavery mentality and they feel like they still need to be a slave to some system. And maybe he has his own business and he feels like he doesn't have to be a slave. But he still has the slave mentality because he probably enslaving other people. Because see, if you are, you own a company, I'm the, you the people I'm talking about, the corporations. I'm talking about him. He the person I'm talking about. He's in. He probably ain't paying people good. Probably don't have good good insurance. Even though, because I done worked in the healthcare field in major companies and worked for many, not in one man show, he a one man show. I done worked for multi-million doctors, the 11 in a practice and the insurance is crap. So everybody out here is not for their people. And those are the people I'm talking about. And he's probably one of the people that I'm talking about. Since he's so hot in my comments, I'm like, mm -mm, what's wrong with you, sir? Cut that out. And you better be careful when you be out here talking about somebody going to be a Walmart greeter. You might be that person. I might be walking by you and see you doing that. Because, honey, you be careful how the tables turn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Hmm. That'll be careful. You reap what you be sowing. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go into this uh, store because it's getting hot in this car. But anyway, I'm going to see y'all in the... Um, I'm gonna see y'all in the house on the next video because child I gotta uh I gotta upload two of these videos. We can open this door, child. It's hot out here. I didn't have my air on because sometimes when I have the air on, it gets really hard for y'all to hear me. But I do have my microphone on, but yeah. But y'all, I love y'all to the moon. We ain't gonna worry about these. I know y'all be in my comments talking about girl, don't even be worrying about the haters. True, but the haters be giving me something to talk about too, believe it or not. They do. They be giving me something to talk about. Mm-hmm. Out here being hateful. Because I don't know how old he is, but I'm thinking, would you say that to your mother? Would you say that to your great-grandmother? Because your great-grandmother was probably a slave. Y'all need to cut that out. Mm-hmm. Especially y'all black men in my comments. Yeah. We may have to address that. We may have to make a whole video about these black... Because I've been getting a lot... Like I said, y'all get one or two... Y'all probably be seeing one or two negative messages. But y'all... I got over 3,000, maybe 4,000 now comments on one video. And just think now, I've been popping out videos like crazy. Think all the messages that be coming across my screen. And a lot of hate from black men. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but y'all better cut that out. Alrighty, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.